Okay, so I'm going to uh, take you through string making. The string we're going to make is a double loop laid in Flemish string. Uh, the bow that we've made is coming at about 90 pounds, so I'm going to use 18 strands of fast flight. Um, you've just seen me running up and down with the actual material itself, and I've run beeswax along in there as well. And this will help me grip the string as I'm twisting. Uh, it'll also help to uh, wet, uh, waterproof the string as well. So now I'm going to cut the ends and get on with showing the twists. Okay, so we're going to use a Flemish twist to make this string. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Start off pulling the right hand side of your string over the left and with a clockwise twist and then an anti-clockwise crossover You'll get your Flemish twist. So just run that in for a while. There are no knots at all in this string. It's held together entirely by the action of uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise twisting. The fibres biting against each other and the wax helping. So if you do it well enough your string is not going to unravel. It can be very tricky at first, uh, your first attempt. So after you've done a couple of hundred of them, it becomes second nature. Traditionally, uh, linen would have been used as a string making material. But, uh, the quality available these days isn't good enough for bow strings. So uh, I'd recommend you don't use it unless you want to have your string break and possibly damage your bow. Okay, so I'm just going to check for the size of my uh, top loop now. I'm just going to double over the twist that I've done. Okay, that gives me a pretty good size for my top loop. So I'm going to uh, transfer this down to the next peg. Okay, so I'm wrapping around create my loop. I have the right hand tail matching up with the right hand part of the main string and a bit more wax help them ad adhere to each other. Same with the left. Okay, so just level everything out and go through the same process again. So we've got a clockwise twist, an anti-clockwise crossover. Another synthetic material used for bow strings these days is the Dacron B40. Uh, this it's, it's quite a stretchy material, as you with the heavier weight draw bows. The you know, string will actually stretch when you draw the bow, so you'll be losing some performance from your bow. So that's why we're using fast flight, which is a, it's a Kevlar-based material. And uh, there'll be some initial stretch as you fit the string to the bow, but after that there will be no stretch whatsoever. So it's good for a uh, a performance bow, the heavier draw weight bows. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of my tail now. I'm going to run, lay in Flemish twist into the main string a little way. As I come to the end of uh, the tails, I'm going to get little tufts where they, uh, where they run out. Do your best to tuck those in. Um, it's not detrimental to the string to have them there, but uh, I'll show you a, a neat little trick when I do the other end. I'll help you just tidy those up and uh, get a nice even taper down your twists.
probably just want to run the, the twist into the main string, maybe a couple of inches. All that does, as you're uh, working at the other end, it'll stop all your uh, twists unraveling. Okay, that should just about do it for this top loop. So I'll just uh, add a little more wax. Now, hold it up for you to have a look at. Okay, so now we'll just clamp that off to stop it unravelling and go down to the other end and repeat the process again.